let me show you how this AI can read an audiobook in Donald Trump's voice. When I took another look at the data, I discovered a surprising pattern. It's the givers, again. As we've seen, the engineers with the lowest productivity are mostly givers. But when we look at the engineers with the highest productivity, the evidence shows that they're givers too. There's a collab file in the description below and it'll open up to this section. There are three steps to this process. The first step is nothing but the setting up. It'll take care of all the libraries that you need for this project. So just go ahead and press play. But before you do that, there's one thing you need to check. On the runtime, change run type type. You wanna make sure it is GPU. It'll take a few minutes to run through and install all the libraries that we need. It's gonna take care of all the AI files and the PDF reading files as well. Once it's installed, you can come down to the next step where you're gonna be uploading or using a sample audio file. You need to give a five to 10 seconds of audio sample, preferably a WAV file of someone speaking in English. I already have a sample from Elon Musk you can come here, cloning source, and you could choose either to use the default sample or you could upload your own sample. Again, anything from five to 10 seconds. Then come on and press play, and it'll ask you to upload the audio sample that you have. So come here, choose files. I'm gonna upload this Trump.10 file. It has about 10 seconds of Donald Trump speaking a sentence. Next step is to upload the audio book or the PDF file that you want the audio to speak. So you could have any kind of text, put it in a Word file, convert it into a PDF, and then upload it here. So just choose the file. I have this ebook downloaded, I'll just open it up. Once you have uploaded the audiobook, the next or the third and last step is to choose the number of pages that you want your AI to speak. Do you want the whole audiobook to be read by this AI or a certain number of pages? So in order to do that, come here and choose custom or all if you want, you know, all, of course, if you want all of them and custom, if you want to select a certain number of pages. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to select custom and from page number, let's say 14, 15, I could put in any text I want, any number of pages, 14, 14, because that's where I see the text has been created. Before that, it's all nothing but introduction and index and copyright information. So from page number 14, it's actually starting. So I'll just press this and I'll start playing this. So now the AI will go through all the lines on that page and create an audio generated file for me. It'll take a few minutes or maybe a few hours, depending on how big the audio file is. Once that's done, come down here to this folder and here click on this particular main folder and under this you will see a generated .wav file. And I don't see it here if I just refresh this and you see this generated audio.wav file. That's the one you the AI has created for you. So just go ahead and click download and it'll download the file for you. Let me know how you find this project. I have tested this project on one or two audio files only. So let me know how you find it out and how things work out for you. And if you feel any issues, leave me a comment and I'll look into it for the next version of this project.